Here, my hand, a banana. Okay, Dad. Hi, Dad. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, Dad. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Aww. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> oh, my God. Thanks, Dad. Oh, my God. Thank you. You're so special to me. And you found an amazing man. When I was growing up, my mom would sometimes tell me, Tim, why don't you ask out so-and-so? She makes a bed every morning. <laughs> That's how I'm starting this out. <laughs> well, spoiler alert, Hannah. That's you. <laughs> you make our bed every day. And it took until I was 30 to really understand why my mother wanted me to look out for this one quality. It means that as my life partner, you value the sanctity of where we lay our heads down every night to go to sleep. Watching my sister and my now brother-in-law married today, it was easy to reflect on a couple memories. I remember the first time that Hannah told me about Tim. And I remember hearing the excitement in her voice as she was describing him to me. That same excitement stayed in her voice year after year. Hannah and Tim's journey began on Tinder. No shame in the dating app. No. He told me he swiped left on everyone, and I will take that to my grave. Fortunately, they both swiped right. <laughs> Hannah had to send the first message for them to even start talking. I liked his glasses, and I was the first to message him. And the only thing she said to me was two words, and she goes, nice specs. And from then, we just talked basically all night. Tinder and the girl sending the first message. Talk about a progressive relationship. <laughs> So we meet up and I had chugged Fireball because I was super nervous. I was on like the taxi ride over and I was so nervous and I hung my whole body out the taxi to cool my, <laughs> my sweat. In each other, Hannah and Tim found fellow artists. He asked me about my art, which I thought was really interesting. But it wasn't all high-minded and sophisticated, because Tim's reaction to seeing Hannah was, she's hot. <laughs> Admittedly, I first thought that Tim's appeal to Hannah was this beautiful hair of his. He was like, I hope you don't mind. I'm growing my hair out. I was like, for how long? He goes, as long as I can get it. And I was like, cool, I love you. <laughs> I'm into the vibe. <laughs> pulled out his phone and I was like, I thought it was really rude that he's pulling out his phone. He was like, look, and he erased the Tinder app. Like, del okay, deleted his account. Oh, and I was like, I was like, well, this is a lot of pressure. I guess I'll do it too. And we both uninstalled Tinder that night, actually. And we've been on a first date ever since. I never left. And then he never really went home after the first date. <laughs> it's a true Nicholas Sparks fairy tale. So I texted Tim one day, and with no pressure, I said, why are you marrying Hannah in one sentence? He responded to me saying, first, screw your one sentence clause, and proceeded to give me a very in-depth answer. So this is a quote, it's not me. Ever since forever, I've always told Hannah that the thing I love most about her is that she's entertaining. Since our first date, the thing that made me magnetically drawn to her was her extremely authentic, deep, jovial laugh that always makes me giggle because of how infectious it is to me. Being with Hannah means I will never be bored and that she has kept my attention ever since our first date. She knows how often my interests shift and change and I move on from things, but she's the one constant. I've never met anybody who has filled that gap.
When writing our vows, I first wanted to tell you and everyone here today, I vow to always make the bed, <laughs> either with you or on days you may forget. <laughs> Before I could process it, my heart decided early on it had to have you, and luckily yours was on the same page. Life just made more sense with you in it. You gently draped a level of calmness over my soul, and it found that it could rest. The search was over. I vow to continue to love you and your whole family unconditionally, because I know how much they've accepted me with open arms, and I know how much family means in a relationship between us. I vow to never stop being your weirdo and own personal source of entertainment. I vow to support your goals in life, no matter how extreme running a 50K seems, and just because you feel like it. <laughs> For a couple that seems like such a yin and yang and who love to jokingly play their contrast in public, there was a real sincerity in the way that they treat each other when they don't think anybody is looking. At the heart of your relationship are two best friends. If you can remember how amazing that friendship is, that's going to get you through the times that are really hard. You reflect outwardly the strength that you found in each other, in everybody's lives. And I can say honestly, on behalf of all of your friends that are here tonight, it's made our lives richer for it. Love you, always have, always will. And thank you for being my best friend, roommate, and now husband. I vow to make sure every day starts with positivity and laughter because your laugh on our first day was so infectious that I never wanted it to end. I love you until death do us part. Mm -hmm.